Hey guys, Bugs Education here and welcome back to the Blueprints Creation Series. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a quick look at how you can create a basic flashlight inside of Unreal Engine 4. Now, this little flashlight is going to be using the first person template and is essentially going to be um, attached to the camera. And then we're also going to be able to turn this on and off using a key binding. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that using some of the blueprint nodes and and I'm also going to be showing you how to set up a key binding in the project settings uh, just like this. So let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look at the blueprints. Now for the most part it's going to be relatively simple. I'm also going to be making a second video where I'm going to be showing you how to do this for third person and then we play around with rotation and a whole bunch of other stuff for uh, uh, for the flashlight. But for now using first the first person template we're just going to be attaching this little spotlight uh, um, the little spotlight inside of the viewport here in the uh, player blueprint and then we're just going to set up some toggling and uh, we're just going to play around with the vi uh, visibility. So let's just go ahead and take a look. So first things first we've got the input. Um, I've set that to F at the moment and that's all done through the uh, project settings. Um, and that just goes into a flip-flop, which essentially allows us to alternate between A and B, just turning something on and off, basically uh, the whole flashlight um, functionality and then we're just going to hook that up into a toggle visibility uh, which is hooked up straight into the flashlight and then up top here I've just got a little begin play thing to toggle it um, by default I set the flashlight to on um, so I'm just going to be using this to turn it off so the flashlight isn't on straight away as you can see here but when I do go ahead and press F you can see the light comes on and it works fine Anyway, so let's uh, let's go ahead and delete that. So I'm just going to quickly go back into here. I'm going to delete this, just like that. And I'm also going to open up the viewport section, uh, just over here. And I'm going to delete the flashlight. Boom, done. So first things first, we need to set up the key binding. Now for me, what I'm what I usually do for a flashlight, I just uh, key map that to the F key. So to do that, go to settings, project settings and then go down to the engine part and then go to input and then uh, all you got to do is just press the little plus arrow here for action mapping leave the axis stuff for now um, so add that and I'm just going to call this flashlight simple done now underneath here we can select a key value now this allows you to assign a key now you could do that with the mouse the keyboard gamepad xbox one uh, do whatever you want but for me I'm just going to use the keyboard and I'm going to use the F key. So go ahead and find that, select it, and that is done. That is all we need to do now. So the next thing we need to do is open up the player blueprint. Uh, so go to first person BP, character, uh, sorry, blueprints, and open that up. Now let's go ahead and set up the spotlight, the actual light that we use for our flashlight. So let's just go ahead and create a new component. So press the big green button in the top left hand corner here and uh, just type in spotlight. And then I'm going to name this flashlight. Now at the moment it's set to uh, be below the player's arm so I'm just going to move this up a bit just like that and I'm going to make sure I click, drag and I'm going to attach it to the first person camera just like that. That way it actually follows along um, and gives us all the rotation and all that good stuff. Now we have got a few different settings that we can play around with here. Um, so for example if I wanted to I could play around with the intensity. At the moment it's set to 5000. If you wanted to make it brighter you could set that to 20,000 just like this. Um, you can play around with the color. I'm going to give it a slight blue tinge, just like that. And then you can play around with the uh, inner cone and the outer cone angle. Don't worry about that too much. Uh, the atten uh, attenuation radius, which is basically um, how far it's going to go. So if I turn this up, down, you can see it moves further and further. And then you've got your source radius. Um, I'm going to turn down the outer cone angle so it's not so wide, so it's more like a flashlight. Just feel free to play around with some of these settings, uh, do whatever you want to. You can also use an IES texture, which is going to allow you to uh, add like a texture to the, to the flashlight. So if I quickly open up Google, IES flashlight, uh, I can show you a quick example of that. I do not have a IES profile 
um, on my computer at the moment to show you. If you use like the shooter game demo, there's a couple of them in there, but you can see basically what it does. It gives you these like different layers of light and stuff. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, so the next thing, go to the event graph and we're gonna type, uh, we're gonna right click here. And because we already have our key mapping set up, if I type in flashlight now, uh, the same way that I did before, go to action events and then flashlight, we've got two options here. Now we've put this in, we've got pressed and release. And what we need to do now is essentially just put in that little flip-flop node which allows us to toggle stuff on and off. There is other ways of doing it, but I found the flip-flop is probably the easiest. So I'm gonna hook this up and I'm gonna put the pressed into this little node here. And then A and B is just gonna be the different options. The first time it's pressed, it's gonna go into A. The second time it's gonna go into B and so on and so forth. So the next thing we need to do is get the flat uh, the flashlight. I'm going to click that and I'm going to drag it in just like that. And then if I click here and then drag and let's turn on and type in visibility because what we need to do is toggle visibility. And we're just going to control C, control V to copy and paste that. And we're going to want that for A and B. Um, if you wanted to, you could just reuse these. It's up to you really. Uh, so let's just go ahead and pop that in there. Now, if I go ahead and press compile, play, um, by default, our flashlight should be on. And if we press F, it goes on and off. And you can also see it alternating in the little blueprint view here. So let me just do that again. You can see it moving A, B, and so on and so forth. Now, if you did not want to, um, if you did not want to have it on by default, um, you can use one of the event begin play uh, nodes. Event begin, uh, sorry, begin play. And then we're just gonna hook this up into one of those silly little toggle visibility thingamabobs. So I'm just gonna control C, control V, chuck that up there, put this in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and press play. And you can see it's now off by uh, default. And if I press F, it's still alternating, still working. Um, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and add a whole bunch of other stuff into here. For example, you could add in sounds like a little button click. Um, you could add the IES texture, like I said. Um, you could even add power or any of that stuff. Um, but that's pretty much everything I want to show you in today's episode. Don't forget, I'm also going to be making a second video on flashlights, uh, which is going to be for third person, and we're going to go over getting like the uh, rotation and all that good stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.